traveling the world with my wife hasn't slowed my love for doing guy stuff. And the one place that I always feel connected to my manhood is in a barber chair. Because I'm getting haircuts, beard trims, and neck shaves in unique places, I wanted to share the experiences with others that appreciate the craft of barbers around the world. Don't worry, I'll show you other cool cultural stuff along the way. These are my world barbershop adventures. Philippines here at Lars Republic Barbershop. It is a, uh, an epic little barbershop. He cuts a lot of the athletes hair in the city. So I'm, I'm looking to get uh, get everything taken care of today. And uh, he's, he's got a great reputation in the city. So uh, it should be a great experience. Lars is truly a one-of-a-kind barber. You will see how well he uses both hands during the treatment. He takes pride in that and his overall skills. He is fast and focused but pays attention to every detail. I asked how he built such a strong customer base and he said his cuts are a walking billboard. People notice when you have a great haircut and tend to ask where you got it. He no longer takes walk-ins, appointments only. He calls his shop a barber house because he lives there too and it has the comfort of a home. His buddies were hanging out watching TV while we were there. The music was blasting 80s West Coast hip hop which matched his vibe and persona perfectly. Check out his Compton hat. The Filipino people have a strong connection to hip hop. We noticed it everywhere we went. I think it might have to do with their love of basketball and it bleeds over into the hip hop culture. It's hard to tell but it was definitely present.
Watching Lars cut my brother's hair really allowed me to see how talented he was. He had a ton of pride in making sure it was perfect, constantly moving from side to side, measuring and adjusting. His humor and demeanor made the visit so much fun as we joked about American culture and got to know more about the Filipino ways. His love for his country and his neighborhood were passionate. Hardworking and creative, he represents the Filipino hustle mentality well. And like all the Filipinos we met, he was kind and thoughtful and just cool as hell. With our appointment being late on a Saturday night, you will see he mixed a little business with pleasure, sipping on a beer throughout. It didn't mess with his performance though, as my brother later said that this was the best haircut of his life. You can tell, man, Lars, Lars was unbelievable. What an amazing barber. I mean, the craftsmanship, his pride in the craft and everything that um, he brought, um, using both hands, the speed and pace of what he, how he cut hair, and then just how good he was. I mean, uh, we joked about it, but he makes, he made my face look thinner, so much thinner, based on how good he was at his job. And uh, his little touches he did around the mouth to, to really tighten my beard up. Um, I'm up close to a light here and you can you can really see how good he did and uh, just uh, so much fun to be around. The, the, the music in his barber house was fantastic and uh, just a lot of fun, just a, a great environment and, and a lot of fun to be around Lars and uh, literally one of the best barbers I've ever been around in my life. Fantastic. How unbelievable is Lars with his hands, right? A great barber. And Manila and Manny Pacquiao, the champion of champions. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos of me and barbershops around the world.